Welcome, in this project, we will be designing solar-based smart walking stick with GPS locator, call and SMS functions. Now let us talk about the schematic diagram. The schematic diagram is built with the Arduino Pro Mini board. Dead. The schematic diagram shows the connection of the GPS module Neo 6M, the GSM module SIM 800L and the ultrasonic sensor that is used to detect obstacles along the path. The SIM 800L GSM module is also connected through software serial communication protocol. The power supply is solar-based rechargeable and it is connected to the solar panel shown here. The power supply of this project design is solar-based that uses a 10W PV panel to recharge a LiPo rechargeable battery. The rest of the actuators like the buzzer and vibrator are connected as digital outputs on the Arduino. Both the GPS module and the GSM module uses software serial communication protocol to send and receive signal to and from the Arduino Pro Mini board. Whereas the ultrasonic sensor used two digital pins to talk to the Arduino. Now, assembling this schematic diagram on a breadboard, when power is connected to the GPS module, it blinks every second to show it has satellite signal reception. On the other hand, the GSM module blinks every second when it doesn't have network reception. The SIM 800L GSM module is connected to 3.3 volts power but in reality, anything around 3.3 volts to 4.2 volts would be ideal. It usually demands an initial burst of current to catch signal reception. And once it moves from blinking every second to every 3 seconds then you know it has got signal reception of the network of the SIM card inserted in it. The Arduino board used was the Pro Mini. It was chosen because of its compact and yet cost-effective nature. The Pro Mini board comes with a 6-pin header where we could program it. This is shown here. We can connect the FTDI programmer to it and upload the Arduino programmer. Assembling the components together. Wiring the components connections can be done using a 40mm trunk tube. This fits perfectly all the components. The rechargeable battery, GSM module and GPS module are all embedded into this trunk. Making it protected from dust and moisture. The vibrator is kept at the head of the trunk and held in place by glue gum. The recharging module for the battery was made to be at the side of the trunk tube, so that it can be easy to connect the solar panel to it to recharge the batteries. As seen here, the GSM module has started receiving network signal as it blinks every 3 seconds. The ultrasonic sensor was connected to the Arduino and then made to come out on the other side as shown here. 